The formula for percent increase is percent increase equals the new number minus the original number divided by the original number times 100. Then we attach a percent sign for a final answer. As an example, let's say that you own a small store that did $228,000 in sales this year. Last year your store did $189,000 in sales. What was your percentage increase in sales? So, the new number is this year's sales of $228,000 and the original number is last year's sales of $189,000. Using our formula, we have percent increase equals $228,000 minus $189,000 divided by $189,000 times 100. And now we have $39,000 divided by $189,000 times 100. $39,000 divided by $189,000 equals 0 .206 rounded off. Next, we multiply 0 .206 times 100, which gives us 20.6. Then we attach a percent sign to get a final answer of 20.6% as the percent increase in sales. Now for percent decrease. The formula for percent decrease is actually the same exact formula as percent increase. If you get a negative answer from the formula, then there's a percent decrease. So let's use the same numbers as before, except we'll say that last year's sales were $228,000 and this year's sales were $189,000. So the new number is this year's sales of $189,000 and the original number is last year's sales of $228,000. Using our formula, we have percent decrease equals $189,000 minus $228,000 divided by $228,000 times 100. And now we have negative $39,000 divided by $228,000 times 100. Negative $39,000 divided by $228,000 equals negative 0.171 rounded off. Next we multiply negative 0.171 times 100, which gives us negative 17.1. Then we attach a percent sign to get a final answer of negative 17.1% as the percent decrease in sales. And when describing this, we would drop the negative sign and say there was a 17.1% decrease in sales. And it may help to alter the formula to percent change. So it would be percent change equals the new number minus the original number divided by the original number times 100 and again attach a percent sign. And here are a couple more examples on the screen for you of how to calculate percent increase or percent decrease. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.